Okay, so here we go. Sitting in my sturdy chair, you're gonna start, actually, let me make some more room real quick. We're gonna start standing. So you've got a very wide base of support here, like you're straddling a horse. And feel free, once again, to hold on because it's challenging for your balance otherwise. So you're going to reach for the floor and then reach for the ceiling over and over. Deep squats and then reach for the ceiling and stand up tall. Okay, ready? That was 50 seconds. Good job, guys, on the first one. Now we're gonna get ready for the next one. Feet together. You're standing and you're getting ready to step from side to side. Reach in both arms as you go. It's like you're holding up trays of iced tea on either, on either hand and you gotta get them both up so you don't spill them. There's also a little bit of a lunging action going on from side to side. So take a step and then lunge into it reading your arms in the process. Good job, everybody. Now, get ready to do some planking activities. So I'm gonna use the chair for this. So you're gonna go over to your chair, make sure it's secured against the wall so you can lean into it. And I'm in a plank position. I'm trying to bring my elbows and touching my knees with them. Here we go. Notice my shoulders moving back and forth. I'm shifting weight towards my hands in order to get my knee to touch that elbow if possible. Nice work. All right, everybody, get ready. We're, we're gonna do another standing one. So this one, I want you to hold on to something. I'm gonna steady myself with one hand on the chair. You're gonna step backwards and do a lunge and then bring one arm up overhead to reach. Same arm every time so you can hold on with the other arm. Step back and reach overhead. Step back, reach overhead. My posture's staying nice and tall here. I'm stable with one arm on the chair. Hey everybody, nice work. Let's keep going. So now you're going to get comfortable with getting on and off the floor, all right? So you're going to start standing big and then walk your hands out into a push-up position. Walk your hands back and then stand up big. We're gonna do that over and over again. Walk it out to a plank, walk it back in, stand big.
Okay, everybody, good job. So we're gonna stay standing a little bit longer. You're gonna have your wide stance again because we're getting ready for those floor to ceiling squats. Down and up, down, up. work everybody okay get ready we're gonna head back over to the chair for this one nice and stable chair because you're going to be kind of hopping out of that chair so we're gonna add an arm reach so what you're gonna do is lean back with your shoulders lean forward and then reach your arms to lift your hips rock and reach rock and reach Now, get ready, we're gonna stay in the chair for the next one too. Just shake off your legs if you need to, and watch this. So we're gonna kinda teeter-totter. So you've got your hands on the floor and your hips on the chair. Hands on the floor, hips on the chair. You're just leaning forward and leaning back into the chair and onto your feet. work everybody okay let's get ready for the next one you're going to come back to the chair for some planking all right so in your push-up position this time I'm gonna reach my knee to my opposite elbow so there's a twisting action through the hips and chest and spine notice my shoulders moving back and forth to help me reach that knee all the way to my elbow if possible You'll notice in this workout that I'm doing a lot of core strengthening with a straight spine. That's really the key with Parkinson's. You want to make sure you include core strengthening, but the straighter your spine while you do so, the better. So planking activities are really brilliant for core strengthening in Parkinson's. What you want to do is avoid those crunching activities that would encourage that forward slumped posture. Okay, everybody get ready. We got one more holding on with the chair to do a backward step and a lunge. Planking through the knee, through the elbows this time. Knees through the elbows.
Okay, good job everybody. Now we're ready for the backward step with the lunge. So I'm securing my, my balance with one hand on the chair. Step backwards and give it a dip. One hand reaches overhead if that's in your practice. The other hand reaching for a supportive surface. All right, good job. Okay, let's go back to our plank walkouts and walk back in. So I'm standing really nice and tall and big. I'm gonna walk my hands out into a push up position, walk them back in, stand big, keep going. Nice work. Hopefully you guys are feeling pretty warm by this point. We're going to get ready for our last floor to ceiling squats. Wide base of support here. Touch the floor, reach for the ceiling. Now you've got the option to add a jump when you reach for the ceiling. So touch the floor, jump to the ceiling. Even if you can't get your feet off the floor, notice how it speeds you up by adding in that extra effort. Okay, now the remainder of the class is gonna be done on the floor. So I hope you're comfortable getting on and off the floor. We'll be changing positions a lot on the floor and we're starting with these prune push-ups. So you're on your belly, then your hands are right underneath your armpits and you're just gonna push your chest up off of the floor over and over. Notice where you feel a stretch in this position and throughout, that's where you need it, okay? Also really working on upper body strength and spine flexibility. Okay, nice work. I'm just gonna rest on my elbows here for a minute and get ready for some more work on my belly. So stay with your hips on the floor, keep them on the floor, reach out and then slide your hands back in to lift your chest. So you reach overhead and then you arch it up, squeezing your elbows together behind your back, squeezing your shoulder blades together at the top. really working on those posture muscles so you might start to fatigue here in your back muscles that's good your muscles will thank you for it
Okay, I'm resting on my elbows again. You're welcome to rest just laying flat on your stomach, but we are getting ready for more belly work. So you're on your stomach and I'm just gonna lift one side at a time into a twist. This is very much a lift and a twist. See if you can get your chest to open up towards the side wall here. I'm adding some head turns just to help my neck stay nice and flexible as well. Nice work. Okay, so now you're gonna stay on your elbows, pushing down into my elbows here to lift my posture up as tall as possible because this is a posture exercise. You're gonna get tall and then you're gonna get as flat as possible. Alternating between tall and flat postures. There's no in-between posture here. Also, we're working on loosening up those shoulder joints. So, wing your shoulders and your elbows out to the side to get flat and then roll them back underneath you to stand tall. Nice work, everybody. We're about to change positions. You're gonna come onto all fours. So on your hands and knees. And there's no better way to say this. This is a dog peeing on a fire hydrant exercise, okay? We're alternating from side to side. Looks just like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Working on weight shifting here and hip mobility. Keep it up. work okay get ready for the next one you're gonna stay on your hands and knees but you're gonna walk your hands out until you're in more of a plank position to get ready for push-ups from your knees here we go All right, well done. Let's give your arms a little bit of a break from this next one and focus more on those anti-gravity extension posture muscles. Lifting up against gravity, try to lift your chest up without using your hands here.
Okay, don't know about y'all, but my back's getting tired. Nice work. Okay, stay on your elbows this time, or you can lay flat if that's painful. Don't do it, obviously. So you're gonna kick yourself in the butt. Sorry, there's no other way to say it. Kick yourself, take your heel all the way to your hip. Now the harder and the bigger that you kick, you might notice a stretch through the front of the body. That is great. Try to do this without losing your posture. So I'm staying tall through my chest and head while I kick. Nice work, everybody. Stay on your elbows or flat on your stomach for this next one because you're gonna lift your entire leg off of the floor with a straight leg, including your thighs. Get them up, alternating from side to side. Trying not to lose your posture in the process. Okay, well done. Get ready to change positions. We're gonna come back onto your hands and knees and work on something called bird dogs. So first things first, you're gonna do a donkey kick, straight back, really like you're trying to kick something right behind you. Like you are the reason they say not to stand behind a donkey. Okay, so reach as far as you can with your arms and legs, opposite arm, opposite leg, adding in some core stability here. Arm bones come all the way up to your ears. You're reaching your hands out like you're trying to shake somebody's hand and your legs kick back as far as they can with effort. You did it. Now we're gonna do bird dog again. However, this time you're gonna hold it. So it's called bird dog because you look like a bird dog. You're pointing. I don't know if you're from Texas, you know what a bird dog is. holding it we're almost done change sides okay so rest for a second shake out your wrist if you need to and we'll go and move on to holding a bird dog on the other side go
All right, well done. Okay, we're gonna do some more core holds. So you're going to stay on your elbows and your knees here. You have the option to come up on your toes, but your spine is as straight as an arrow. Right now I'm on my knees. In a minute, I'm gonna move up to my toes. You get to pick your poison. Okay, good job everybody. Let's keep working on planking. This time, get ready to go onto your side for a plank. So you have the option to stay on your elbow here and stay on your knees and make a straight line with your spine. Okay, you also have the option to come onto your feet if you want more of a challenge. Well done, let's change sides. Knees or feet, it's up to you. Here we go. Awesome. Well done, everybody. We are nearing the end of our workout. Everybody, one more, a couple more planks. So this time you're going to be on your elbows and your toes. You have the option to stay on your knees here, but I'm going to dip one knee down at a time and dip across my body. So I'm getting a little spine twist. Added benefit of keeping my spine flexible. Well done, everybody. We are down to our last exercise. So enjoy it and come back up into your plank. Okay, so here we are. Stay on your knees or dip both knees down and back up over and over. It's the last exercise. You guys got this.
All right, everybody, that is the end of our workout today. You did an awesome job. I'm just going to take a quick stretch in a child's pose here. You can <laughs> go back to having free time and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me.